So our laboratory has been involved with at least three studies that have looked at the relationship between the omega-3 index, red blood cell, EPA, DHA, which is largely DHA, and different measures of cognitive function in different populations. In the first study we did, we were working in the Framingham study, and the Framingham is a large study out of uh, Boston that's been going on for many, many years, decades in fact. Uh, and in the study we did, we measured the omega-3 levels in uh, around a thousand people in the study and linked them with uh, MRI scans of their brain volume. We found larger brain volume was associated with a higher omega-3. Larger brain volume means essentially a younger brain because the brain shrinks as it gets older. Uh, so a larger volume means younger brain. We also found in the same study that cognitive function, they did about four different tests of cognitive function in those adults. These were 66 year old people, uh, approximately. And we found that higher omega-3 index again was correlated with better performance on these cognitive function tests. So that all makes sense. Bigger brain, better cognitive performance. Another study that we did uh, was with a group called the Women's Health Initiative. Uh, it was a memory study. Uh, and this was just in women, post-menopausal uh, women. We measured again their omega-3 index and then we looked at the relationship with, again, brain volume, different, different parts of the brain. Uh, it was a much more detailed look at the brain components. And we found that the area that was really the most strikingly related to the omega-3 index was an area called the hippocampus. And that is a very small piece of the brain, but it's a part that's very much involved with memory. And so a higher level of omega-3 in the hippocampus meant a higher, a larger volume, a less uh, shrunken hippocampal area, uh, which means in translation, again, uh, it's essentially omega-3s are related to a younger brain, um, regardless of chronological age. The final study we did was with the uh, U.S. Army. We studied uh, executive function. So this is a test that's done that measures um, how well you can um, change and make decisions quickly. Uh, and we did this in soldiers that were um, deployed in Iraq uh, back about five years ago. And we found that the omega-3 index, even in these people who were roughly 30 years of age, fairly young people, a lower omega-3 index was associated with a less favorable uh, executive function score. So even at, at that age, well, we can begin to see that omega-3 levels are important. As we'll see uh, in other studies that have um, been done, even in children, executive function is affected by omega-3 levels.